Francis Ford Coppola may be famous for his Godfather trilogy and Apocalypse Now, but before all of that, he did a couple of nudie films. Now, why isn't he famous for those movies? However, apparently his first true directorial debut was the 1963 flick Dementia 13, produced by Roger Corman. Seriously, this guy just keeps popping up. I'm pretty sure Roger Corman has some connection to nearly every film ever made. I don't really get what this movie is about, though. I mean, I guess it's about kids inheriting money from a will, like in One Body Too Many. It's about a body that keeps being moved around, like in Midnight Manhunt. It's about using fake props to trick people into supernatural natural hysteria like in The Screaming Skull, and it's about a bunch of people randomly getting murdered for god knows what reason, like in The House That Screamed. I can't help it, after 33 movies, these plots start becoming too synonymous with one another. It disappoints me that a film directed by THE Francis Ford Coppola couldn't be less generic. Come on, this is the guy who did The Godfather, and Jack, and Captain Yeo. Eh, well, never mind. I guess he hasn't really had a solid career. In any case, it's another one of those movies where so many implied situations occur that it takes a guide to understand what's going on. Apparently, it was originally released with a five-minute prologue, but it was used to make the film longer rather than to explain things. I could obviously figure out what was going on, and maybe the whole mystery aspect was making me think harder than I should, but there's moments where I just didn't understand why things were happening. For instance, there there's a scene where mind control happens, but unless you're really paying attention, you won't figure out what's going on, and it's a plot device that wasn't introduced earlier in the film. There's also three murders on screen, but as to why they get murdered, I have no idea. The culprit's backstory is revealed in a not-so-subtle flashback, but it never gives a clear indication as to why he kills who he kills. Maybe it's supposed to be the Halloween effect, by having a murderer without reason. But this movie isn't suspenseful in the least, so it's hard to care. I guess this rips off Psycho more than anything, especially since it was released only three years earlier, and Corman basically wanted a Psycho-type movie. In a way, a lot of the first act is a direct recreation of Psycho. It at least has a different score, but at times it literally sounds like stingers from a Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> Whereas Psycho was titled as such because it featured a literal Psycho, Dementia 13 has its title because... I have no idea. I don't think it's ever explained. Dementia could maybe be supplemented for the main villain, perhaps, but Dementia isn't really a word that's tied to murder. And why 13? Nothing about this film has anything to do with the number 13. This may be a low quality film, but there are times where you could see a bright future for the director. Some of the shots are well done, and the actors are actually pretty good. But everything else is boring. The story is boring and unexplained, the setting is generic, and it all leads to a typical climactic ending. It's an easy skip unless you really want to see something from Coppola's early days. Thanks for watching the video, a special thanks to Ryan for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd like to join him and get early access to certain videos and have your name stamped on the end of videos and even request reviews monthly, then please click on the Patreon link and thanks for the support.